Coach, just talk a little bit about getting it done, man. I mean, you know, you guys were here last year, um, you know, left disappointed, got it done this year. I mean, just talk a little bit about the emotions of it. Yeah. What was kind of going through your mind in those final seconds as they kind of ticked away. Um, and you, you know, finally, you got that elusive goal ball. Sure. Yeah, you know, I've just kind of been around or whatever and just thought if we could ever, you know, ever get a team to get there to the state tournament and you bring enough back, maybe you can win it the next year. Well, we, lo and behold, won two games last year and we're sitting there in a state championship game thinking, well, I guess I was wrong. I guess we should win it while we're here. And, you know, we came up short and that one definitely stung. But our kids, to their credit, went back to work even faster than I did. I just in frustration and, you know, just sad and talking to my wife. I was like, we got the mountaintop. We didn't finish it off. How do we ever get there? And, you know, these kids just kept working and kept doing, you know, a little bit more resilient maybe than I was. And then the fall rolls around and little by little, and we had a rough patch in the winter. We talk about a lot, I know. Um, but, you know, our kids just kept fighting every day and believing. There's not any sort of lack of belief among these guys ever, ever has been. And that's what makes them, I can talk all day long with that, but that's what makes them special. The other thing is they've never been nervous one time this year. I don't know how they do it, you know, but they just believe in each other, believe in themselves. And that just gives us an advantage. You know, I know their students were a little bit excited yelling. And once in a while, I was like, we get that on a Tuesday night at Ravenwood or wherever. You know, that's just Williams County basketball. These guys were not nervous at all. So just super proud of them. And it hadn't really sunk in yet, but we're happy for sure. What was your, um, I guess at what moment, or I guess when did you feel, as a coach, you probably never feel comfortable right. even when you have a lead. Sure. Um, but at what point did it start to sink in, you know, that you're state champ? Yeah, I was trying to get Jet to get the ball on the inbound. He wouldn't do it. He was just celebrating. So I was like, this is over. About nine seconds to go. Um, but, um, you know, I was. I think that's when it started hitting, that it was, this is real. You know, there's just only so little time on the clock. And, um, you know, this is going to be something we remember the rest of our lives. For the players, real quickly, for the players, like, you know, what? give me your, your impressions of those final seconds, you know, finally being able to get this thing done after, you know, coming up short last year. Oh, I'll just say I remember sitting in this exact seat crying last year just because, like, my seniors were leaving and we lost. But, I like, I love winning this. But I think more than that, like, obviously, all glory to God. But it's just this brotherhood that we've made, that I've made over the last four years. And, like, I don't know. I just think we were – I've never seen such a team before. Like, we're a team. Like, you can – people throw around the term team. But, like, this was a team. Like, there was no selfishness. If somebody – he asked somebody to do something, if it was one of the coaches – if it was one of the, us or one of the bench players, they did it. And I just feel like it just means so much more this, not just because we want, want, had more points than the other team, just because the journey yeah. it took and it's the brotherhood. Yeah. What else would you all say to that? Anybody else? Yeah, those final seconds, it was just all emotions flowing for me. <laughs> um, I just started crying, not, just not because the fact that we won. It's just that this great team is just coming to an end. Cried? They did a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smile too. Oh, that's I, crazy. I was just sad that it came to an end, but I'm also glad that we took all this time out of this year to end up with a gold ball. So. Yeah. Jeff, you talked about sitting in that chair crying last year. You seen your how did that manifest into this? Yeah, I mean, it fueled the fire. I mean, obviously, with the 13 more, I said last time, like, we were, we were thinking about this, but, you know, we still had the journey at step by step, but that definitely fueled me. Like, I, I, I didn't want to feel that again. But, I mean, I just got to give credit to just the team. Like, we, we just did so good this season with scouting and just practice, and, like, we were ready for this moment. I feel like, I mean, the whole year, I feel like I knew we were going to get here. And Coach, can you remind us of all those state titles that – they're one in the coaching tree in your family. Yeah, you know, my dad's one too. Uh, yeah, two. My brother's one too. And um, I guess I get to finally get a seat at the table now. Um, <laughs> first boy. What yeah, true. Oh, first first boys. boys. And uh, my other oldest brother, he lost to my dad last week, or he could have won one too. So, but, you know, that's an incredible story we're going to cherish. But I don't want to ever take it away from these guys in this moment. This is what's up. Corbin, you see you guys speak a little bit about this as seniors. I mean, this is, this is a big one. You got the gold ball in front of you, man. Yeah, I guys can't even <laughs> reel it in, man. This is sad that it's coming to an end, but it's happy that it ended the way it was. We're going to miss these people. These people, you never be so close to a group of people the rest of your life. And I'm so grateful for everybody, the coaches. I mean, God is so gracious to us. He, yeah. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Can't, we don't deserve it. We're just, he gave it to us, and so we'll take it. <laughs>
it's a little bittersweet too, because a lot of us aren't playing in college either. So it's like the last time we're obviously gonna play like organized bass or organized. Um, so and like Jets the only one going to play. So it's it, that's kind of sad, but it's I'm glad we get to have this memory to end on, uh, like win the state tournament. That's a pretty good thing to end on. I'd say you're gonna be awesome in church. Memory yeah, <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be unguardable. Actually, in the game there too, he's from 240 to play. That three pointer in the corner. Just walk me Huge. through that because again, we're stuck at 42 38. There's a lid on the bucket, and you bury a big one there. I think it was wide open. Nobody was guarding me, so I had to, I had to shoot. I think he would have got more mad if I didn't shoot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How about that? I know you kind of talked about that, but that was like four, three or four layups in a row that just rimming out for whatever reason. And I guess we needed to shoot a three at that time. So. Yeah. More you guys won your quarterfinal. 88 to 74, but the, you win tonight by 40 points less than that. I mean, what is the significance in being able to play two different styles sure. in the span of three days? Yeah, I think coaches love styles and systems, and I love that idea too. It's really fun to talk about. But at the end of the day, you know, to I think to get as far as we've been able to get, there's just got to do a lot of different things well, and um, you know, and, and and play different styles. And thankfully, you know, it was a rock fight today, low scoring, but it doesn't matter, you know, like what's it matter as long as our guys can, you know, compete. And this is kind of a, a, a side that when at the very end when we were up, we have two Division One guards here, you know, that I just thought that's what it comes down to a lot of times, that can just take care of the ball and get the right shots and get our people in the right spots. And, you know, and that's what coaching is, I guess, is make sure you have good players. Yeah, how much today was about uh, with this being – such a big game, your last one at Indy, just being Jet, letting it fly when you could. You had a couple where you just, you kind of were, you definitely were you. Yeah. You just, you let some defense go, and uh, yeah. you played, it looked like you played free. Did you, were you consciously thinking about doing that coming into this one? I mean, I'm, I'm never thinking about that, but I remember Coach Whaley, uh, after last game, he was like, man, you, you know, you've been playing great, but we haven't had a Jet game in yeah. a while. That's what he told me, and I was like, you know, you're right. You know, we didn't have a Jet game, but. I mean, I, I just got to give credit to these guys and these guys. Like, I'm not, I can't do any of that without, you know, drawing up plays for me, getting me open. But, you know, it, it felt good today. Coach, can you talk about what made Jet so good today? Yeah, Jet had two that came to mind. Whereas, uh, I don't know if he should shoot that. Okay, he made it. Let's keep going. Let's go to the other end. And what was in the first half and, um, uh, and then the second half. But the one that just stands out that I'll never forget, I don't know exactly, you probably have written down, Charles, the time, the sequence, but it was right there in front of our bench, maybe at the end of the third quarter. Mm -hmm. We had something, that's what it was, written, you know, drawn up. We are trying to get into it, couldn't really get into it, and that guy just hits a three. And then it's just, you know, it, it's once again, it just comes down to players and just so proud of him. He's been super humble this whole year and postseason with awards, and, man, he deserved what he got today. There's no argument in my mind. He's the best player in the state. And, and I won't take away from Emerson or anything like that, but in my mind, he's one of the best, we'll say, in the whole state for what he's done and what he's done for four years. You couldn't ask for a better, a better career than what he's had. Jeff, the end of the third quarter there, let's talk about that because that's the go-ahead three. I mean, we're tied up 33-33. You guys go into the fourth, and you never mm -hmm. let that lead go. Oh, I think that just goes back to, you know, my training. Like, I – when I, when his hands were down, I, you know, I just felt shot. I mean, I've been working on that. We've been practice shooting thousands of shots in practice, all the birds shooting and everything. <laughs> but, um, you know, that just goes back to, you know, my training. But I just felt confident, and most importantly, they believe in me. Like, you know, that might have not been the greatest shot ever, and, you know, some coaches get really mad if someone shot something like that. But they've always believed in me since I walked in independence and put a jersey on, and these guys too. So just that confidence that they give me every game, like, I'm, I'm, I'm able to play so much more freely, and I don't feel tight. Oh, can I do that or not? But you know, they give me so much confidence. So that's it. Corbin, when the when the buzzer sounded um, and your teammates are jumping around on the court, I looked over and I saw you with both hands, both your hands on your head, almost in you know sort of disbelief. Can you tell me what was going through your, your mind at that point? Yeah, a bunch of sound that I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to take him to shoot. <laughs> and then uh, all my boys came and we, we celebrated on the court, and that's about what I'm, I'll remember forever. I mean, the hands on the head is just like, yeah. I don't know what just happened. I still don't know what just happened, but it's a great moment. Tyler, when you guys start back up next year, none of these guys will be here. What does this that do for you guys in 24? 
I mean, they definitely have left a, a great legacy that it's going to be hard to live up to. But um, I think they, we have some younger guys that look up to these guys, and they paved the way for us. So when we come back next year, we're going to have the same worth e ethic that these guys all had. So um, I think it's great that we got to this place, and it's going to carry on for next year, too. It was a really great junior class. We're excited to play, and younger guys, too. But everybody, we got a shot, you know, no matter every game, every night with that guy right there. I mean, he's one of the best players of the state we have coming back. So I'm just super excited about him <clears throat> his senior year. Haven't really thought about that yet, um, mm -hmm. though. But we are, we got it. We're really excited we get to have tomorrow him. Tomorrow practice, right? Yeah, we're going to come in on Sunday and practice a little bit tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Start spring practice day one tomorrow. What would you Yeah. <laughs> Jed, you kind of spoke a bit. A little bit about it, but in terms, we've talked a lot about legacy and things like that. I mean, what's what's being left here at Independence? Oh man, uh, that's hard to that's hard to answer. There's so many different paths you down go down for that answer, but I don't know. I just this group was special. I feel like you know, just the whole community, like this group was special, and so there'll definitely be a legacy, you know, for these guys. But I believe in the young guys. I mean, we got great coaches. You know, it's been, it's been an amazing four years. I can tell you that. You know, with these, you know, coming in, didn't even know what was going to happen. Who's who's coaching? This guy comes in the locker room. I see him. I was like, oh, who's this guy? Yeah. You know, and then, you know, he's amazing, and I'm going to miss him. And just, you know, it's been an awesome four years. And hopefully I left more than, you know, basketball this, basketball that. I want to leave more of, like, what it is to be a person, uh, you know, a man, what it is to be a believer, what it is to, you know, yeah. to be a leader and a teammate. That's what I hope. I leave more to the younger guys, um, not, you know, how to shoot jumpers or anything. I want to leave more like this is how you be a team. And even if y'all aren't as good, no matter what year it is, this is how you be a team. I hope that's what we leave most of. Sure. Shooting jumpers is all right, though. Yeah. I mean, I guess I can yeah. help him, too, a little bit. <laughs> this is enough, eventually, for Chad. So. Houston, I thought the couple of times in this whole tournament, you, you, you took a charge that made a huge difference. And then Charles was telling me you're the, you're the school leader all the time. Does he? Six nine, but I'm the leader taking charges. <laughs> it's, it's, mostly the, it's mostly just the defensive play. Like with, with zone especially, moving low, you they're think always like no. and stuff and just there. So it just ends, it ends up happening. And when I'm late, it's a good it's a good second option to kind of block a shot. So yeah, it's, He's got a heart, that's what it is. He's still, got a big he's, heart. He's let us in charges and, and block. block shots. Yeah. School history. Don't Pretty worry. amazing. School history. Guys, can you speak on Houston a little bit? Because yeah. it's not going to take. Know, he's pretty, things, yeah, yeah. Pretty he's humble. too humble. Yeah. I mean, oh man, I remember playing with him at uh, AU fourth, fifth grade. And this, this, you know, I'm saying it's just awesome. He came from Brentwood. I was so excited. Oh, I love that dude. He has a huge heart, though. Huge heart. He's so humble. Every time he does an interview, he never. Oh, it was easy. All oh, this, like, he's got a huge heart. He's a baller. I mean, it was just, this guy splashing threes, taking charges. Love that guy. Too, we take charges. Only yeah. two shots a game. This guy's using five threes a game. Well, it just he changes everything back. defensively yeah. too. I mean, without him on the floor, he's we're able to press out, get the people because we know if we get beat, we got a pretty big guy waiting on him. <clears throat> All right. Appreciate you guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.